we identify the tactics, techniques, and procedures observed um, from our adversaries and be able to package that for customers in a way that they can use it to operationalize in their own security teams. The threat intelligence team is made up of a lot of different folks. We have adversary hunters who are actively looking for threats to industrial control systems, uh, malware reverse engineers who are kind of taking apart malware, threats that we find, vulnerability analysts who are assessing and identifying vulnerabilities in critical infrastructure, and then analysts like myself who are reporting information to our customers. We have a variety of different report types. Uh, the technical report, for instance, is tends to be uh, long in-depth reporting on um, tactics, techniques, and procedures from adversaries that we identify uh, in the wild that are interested in targeting industrial control systems. Within these reports, you have everything from indicators of compromise to um, the actual descriptions of their behaviors and methodology to uh, defense and mitigations that you can apply immediately within your own environment. The cadence of the report really varies, but we do have two weekly reports that we publish every week. Uh, one is the suspect domains report. So essentially we're going out and gathering any sort of suspicious domains or artifacts out there that are um, related to industrial control systems. For instance, they might be spoofing an electric utility or an oil and gas company. And we package that into our domains report and provide that to customers uh, as indicators of compromise uh, that will that they are able to immediately operationalize in their own environment. The weekly worldview report, in addition to the vulnerabilities, also contains summaries of industrial control systems, cybersecurity related uh, events, threats, and assessments on things going on in the world. So I will often be reading uh, lots of threat intelligence reporting from other companies, uh, news reports, and um, other open source intelligence sources to be able to collect information and distill it to our customers, to be able to say, here's what you should care about, here's how it impacts industrial control systems, and here's how to defend yourself against this potential threat. So what we do is try to combat FUD. That means fear, uncertainty, and doubt. We will take these events or this, this information and kind of break it down and say, this is what really happened. Here's what matters. Um, here's why you should care, or here's why it might be a little bit blown out of proportion. We want to provide the most accurate information, not just to customers, but also to the general public as well. 